one of Indiana's biggest hospitals is getting help from the U.S. military as it faces a record number of sick patients. President Biden has directed military medical teams to Indiana and five other states that have high COVID hospitalization rates. That's 1,000 military doctors, nurses, and medics. We've already started moving military, excuse me, medical teams. They've already landed in Wisconsin, Indiana this week. President Biden went on to say that on top of 300 federal medical personnel who already are on the ground, they were deployed after learning about Omicron. The president also directed FEMA to begin deploying teams right now to provide additional hospital beds if some hospitals need that extra capacity, plus hundreds of ambulances to take patients from one hospital to another. So what does this look like in our local hospitals? We wanted to know. So Dustin Grove got some answers from IU Methodist in downtown Indianapolis today. Good evening. That 20 person team from the U.S. Navy will be here at Methodist to help keep up. That team includes doctors, nurses and respiratory therapists, and they are arriving to a situation local health care workers call unprecedented and dire. In hospital intensive care units across Indiana, doctors say they have never seen it like this. I'm more scared now than I was even when we had no idea what was going to happen when the original virus was coming because we are starting now with hospitalization rates that are literally higher than they've ever been in the state of Indiana. Dr. Gabriel Boslett, an IU Health pulmonologist appearing on MSNBC, said they're treating some 14,000 patients, and that's before the even more contagious Omicron variant. So if Omicron comes through, and even if it's less severe than the Delta strain, just the sheer numbers of people that it sounds like are going to be infected um, could very, very easily overwhelm us very, very quickly because we have no slack in the system. This week, FEMA directed 40 military medical workers to deploy in two teams, one to Indiana, the other to Wisconsin, to support local health care workers treating COVID patients. That's on top of military personnel already deployed in four other states. That help here at Methodist will come from the U.S. Navy. People don't seem to understand what's going on in hospitals in states like Indiana, and it is absolutely dire. That Navy personnel began arriving here in Indianapolis last night. More are expected to get here today, but the problem isn't just having enough staff. It's also having enough beds. At least one hospital here in Indiana has already begun converting ambulance bays and conference rooms to handle more patients. Thank you, Dustin. Dustin also learned that the Navy team will do the very same thing that the National Guard is. Some will help with patients. Others are going to help with some of the administrative duties. Currently, the National Guard has teams in 19 hospitals across the state of Indiana. And starting next month, the federal government will start mailing free at-home COVID test kits to anyone who requests one. The White House is preparing to ship as many as 500 million kits nationwide. And it's also setting up a website. That's where you can make a request to get one of the tests. However, we know that a lot of you are going to need those tests is way before that because you're getting your family together for Christmas and you want to test to be prepared. So coming up tonight ahead at 515, our investigator Sierra Putman goes store to store to see if you can find those tests for your family right now. President Biden today stressed that the Omicron variant is a cause for concern, but not for panic. It is now the dominant strain all across the country, and it's spreading fast with the first death reported in Texas, a man who was not vaccinated. That's why the president and the country's top doctors are stressing that the best thing you can do right now is get vaccinated and get your booster. If you're unvaccinated, you're at a higher risk of getting severely ill from COVID-19, getting hospitalized, and even dying. So the best thing to do is get fully vaccinated and get your booster shot. And no, this is not March of 2020. 200 million people are fully vaccinated. We're prepared. We know more. And the president today also called for the spread of dangerous misinformation on cable and on social media to stop.
Well, COVID's on a lot of people's minds right now as they get ready to travel for the holidays. That's right. For the fifth day in a row, the TSA actually screened more than 2 million passengers. That is a mm -hmm. pandemic record for people flying. If you